Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our happy birthday balloon pop-up card. Definitely intended for the younger audiences. You guys have been asking for birthday cards for younger kids, or for younger people, I should say, especially kids. And I think we've delivered something that is definitely unique and fun and will definitely be appreciated by the younger audiences. Now, here in front of me, I have um, the main structure, and I sort of laid it out just for myself. Okay, and I'm gonna just move all this stuff off so I can show you the main mechanism here, which is this piece here. And it comes out flat, okay, I've already kind of pre-folded it, but what you're gonna do, you're gonna start off by folding it in half, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're then gonna take and just very gently take and start folding and pushing just up to this part here because the, the score line only goes through here. You can do the same thing over here. It's gonna give you a little bit of resistance at first, but once you start kind of folding it, it will fold. And ultimately, we're gonna want it to come in. So this is gonna be a mountain fold here in the center. And bring it all the way in, and then fold it down this way. And just press against these folds, just to loosen those fibers up so that it opens and closes nicely. Because when it opens and closes, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna glue this to an actual base uh, but we do want to kind of loosen it up for now. So let's start, and this is mostly just paper piecing. Uh, let's start by putting some of these larger pieces in place. This is the happy with a B. You'll notice there's a ton of little score marks on here just to help you with the positioning of everything so that there are no questions as far as where things go. Um, you'll see that there are some score marks here for the H as well as the bottom of the P and the Y and that should help you really get it exactly where it needs to go. So let's get our glue flowing and let's get this piece glued into place. Again, we're kind of taking it back to the days of scrapbooking here because we're just literally just gluing things down flat, mostly paper piecing. I'd say about 90% of this project is just gluing things down flat. And then uh, as far as gluing the mechanism down, it's pretty straightforward and I will walk you through it. Okay, so let's get that in place. And while we're there, let's just glue down the happy. Okay, go very easy on this on these pieces here. There's not a lot of surface area, therefore it doesn't need a lot of glue to stay in place, but make sure you do get that glue out to the perimeter of all of these little sections as much as you can without going too heavy. And we do want to place this nice and centered on this shadow layer, okay? Just like that, let's find the letter B and get that glued into place. Like so. Again, keep it nice and centered on this little shadow layer. I did ink this as well, obviously. I just found colors that were slightly darker than the colors of the paper as far as the inks go. And with this, obviously they're you're gonna have um, markers everywhere throughout this project, especially on this section here. And I will do my best to identify and show you exactly where they are, even though I'm sure you'll see them and things will just kinda make sense to you, okay? So right here, I'm gonna start by just kinda gazing at this side here, the top right corner of our exclamation point. There's a marker there, as well as down here on the Y, and I think that's the H. Yep, that's the H right there, so pop that right into place, just like that, perfect. And we'll take the Earth Day, not like Earth Day in April, but birthday without a B. And let's get our glue on there nice and easy, don't need to overdo it. Again, it's a very, very small little piece, not a lot of surface area. And it's not really uh, structural, again, so we don't need to make sure that you know it has that structural integrity. This is more or less just to keep it in place. Okay, get that nice and centered, push it down, and there we go. Okay, so we'll just kind of work our way up on this section here. And right here, we're gonna put a little balloon. You'll notice that the little markers are right where the, where the twisted part of the balloon is, where, where you seal it up. Okay, so just throw a little bit of glue on our balloon, like so. 
and just like a little puzzle, just pop that right in there. This is all going down flat like that. Okay, I'm gonna start on, I'm gonna work on this side of the project here. So over here, I have a green one. Now, obviously you can, you know, you can change the colors that you're using for the balloons. You don't have to do it exactly how we do it. So if that's the case, then when I tell you to use a certain color, if you're not, if you didn't cut it out of that color, then obviously that's not gonna work for you, but just follow along as far as the sizes go and you'll be in good shape. Here, I'm gonna put a little blue one. Now this one's a little bit easier. Not only do you have the little identifiers for the base of the, the bottom of the balloon, but also uh, there's a shadow element that's cut into the card for the top round part of the balloon as well. So we wanna match that up as well and make sure that's nice and flush at the top so that we don't see any of that white. There we go, just like that. Now this set of balloons here is double layered. Um, it's gonna work like this. Okay, so we can actually take and glue. Oh, hello fly. See your back? I know you wanna craft, but I don't know if you actually have thumbs <laughs> or any sort of hands for that matter. Anyway, we're gonna glue this one on top of this one here. We just wanna match it up with that little accent on the balloon. Of course, we wanna make sure that it's nice and flush at the top as well. Just like that, very simple. And then we'll flip this over and apply our glue to this entire surface. And we'll pop that into place. Again, using the little base of the balloon, the markers for that, and the round section up here. There's also some little markers uh, for the area between the two balloons that we wanna make sure we get lined up accurately. There we go, just like that. Okay, now the center of this card also has a balloon. I'm gonna leave that for last. And I'm gonna work my way over to the left side now with the balloons. I've got a purple and a green. I'm gonna take my purple and glue it on top of my green. And then just like we did in the previous step, we're gonna glue this whole section down onto the card base, or I should say the little pop-up mechanism. Okay, our flies back. Just trying to hang out, it's that time of year. I live out in the country and we have flies. Actually, they're not that bad this year. But occasionally, I, I left the door open today uh, to the studio to get some fresh air in here. And of course, he decided to join us. So welcome, you got a front row seat there, buddy. Okay, so this one's going here again, using those markers as our guides and then making sure that it's nice and flush at the top, just like that. Here I have a little red balloon. And I'm gonna double check to see if these are, I have two balloons left. And yeah, they are identical. So some of these are swappable, I guess you could say. All right, get our glue on there. And this one's going right here, making sure again that it's nice and flush with the white part. There we go. All right, buddy, you didn't really pay for admission here, so I think you should be on your way. There we go. All right, now I have one more blue one that's gonna go right here. You can see the little marker for the base of the balloon. Makes it pretty easy. And then we have some little streamers that we're gonna glue down as well. And then we're gonna work on putting the actual pop-up box together. Okay, so this balloon's gonna go right here, like so. Just like that, okay. And I have one more red one it's gonna go right here. Now there is one large balloon that's larger than most of these, pretty much all of them. And that one's gonna go on the front of the card and that's where we're gonna put our little number as well to indicate the age of the birthday boy or birthday girl. Okay, so that's gonna go right there like so. Perfect. And that already looks super fun, okay. And again, I mentioned we've got some little streamers here and there are some, some, some markers here to help you with the positioning of the streamers. So there's one little, it's like a upside down V. It's gonna go right at the point. And then there's like this little section here. And that's where this little, where the, uh, the streamer kind of intersects itself goes. Okay, you'll see it. So what I would do if you're not sure, don't put glue on it yet. Just place it on there without glue so that you understand how it's supposed to sit. Okay. So I'm gonna focus on getting this part lined up first and then just kind of adjust it 
a little bit until it fits into those little markers, just like that. Then I have a red one for the other side. And make sure that I get glue on this all the way to the tip on both ends. There we go. And I'm going to do the top part first, pop that right in there, make sure it matches up and then give that a little bit of a, a jiggle, a jiggle, jiggle. There we go. Okay. Looking at it now, all the markers have pretty much disappeared, which is a good indicator that, uh, well, we've got everything in place. Now, uh, one more thing here, obviously we have this balloon here. What I would do is get the glue on there, position it, and then let it dry closed. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Let's put our glue on here. Make sure you fold this in half first so that we kind of, uh, relieve some of the tension at that fold, loosen up those fibers. Okay. And we'll pop it right in the center. Make sure it's nice and flush at the top. There we go. And then when you got it in place, take it and just fold it flat and press down on it. Okay. I'm going to open it up real quick. Make sure that it stayed in place and it did. Okay. So that's nice. That is nice. There we go. I'm going to fold it again and I'm going to press and hold that and let that sit for just a moment. Let that, let that glue set. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. So next, what we can start working on is the little gift that goes into these little slits. Okay. So obviously you've got two tabs and you do want to fold it in the center. And then we have our little bow and that's going to go right on like this. Okay. So let's flip this over and apply our glue onto the back of the bow section. We've got some little ribbon that goes all the way across and up and down here. Make sure you get that glue out to the very edge of the little ribbon pieces. Okay. Use the little fold in the center as kind of a guide for your initial placement. And then of course the, the little ribbon parts should be flush with the top and bottom and the sides on both halves of our little box. You can actually fold this in half and then press down like so just to make it quicker and easier. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And now what's going to happen here is we're going to take these tabs and we're going to, we're going to slide them through these little slits. Okay. So let's do that. Slide that right in. And that's going to go in on the other side. We can just do one at a time, one side at a time. So I've got, I've got this, I've got the little tab in there, slide it all the way in. You can even slide it in further than you really need to just for now and put a little bit of glue and you want to do it on the side with the actual pattern on it. Okay. I'm going to spread that glue out to the very edge, the inside edge, I should say. Then we're going to take it and press it up against the back. And we also want to just make sure that we we'll make sure that it actually is just the tab that's getting glued to the back of this. Okay. So let's press that down just like that. Perfect. Okay. And that seems to be holding well. So I'm going to take and slide the tab through the other side. It's okay if you slide it in more than you need to initially, not a big deal. Put some glue on the patterned portion, the pattern that you want visible. You can fold it this way and then just bring it in and press it up against the inside. And then you can just kind of lay it down like this and press down. Okay. Let's test it. Make sure it closes and it does. Very cool. And we have the little bow to give this kind of a, a double layered effect or just give it some dimension, I should say. It is two layers, but it's giving it dimension. So throw some, throw some glue on your bow and pop that right on top of the shadow element. Okay. You can also put a little bit of bling on the center of that bow. All right. So look at that. That's ready to go. Okay. I'm going to put that off to the side, let it cure a little bit, and we can take a look at the little hat that goes on the front. Okay. This is our main layer here. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and glue it on like so. Okay, so it kind of terminates. Uh, it doesn't go all the way down, but that's okay. But what we wanna do here is we, do, we don't actually wanna put glue on the green part because we won't know where not to put glue so that we can maintain these little polka dots. Okay, so we're gonna flip this piece over and get our glue on the little pom-pom. Okay, go down the hat. Make sure you get some glue out to the perimeter as close as you can go. Okay, and then just down here, you wanna stop it before these little frilly parts. Okay, so let's flip this guy over. I'm matching up the pom-pom first. There we go, and just make sure that the sides of the hat are all nice and aligned. Press that down, perfect. Now we'll take our little pom-pom and it's kind of wacky. So flip it around until, until it fits on top there and throw a little bit of glue on the back of our little pom-pom. Well, there's so much you can do to customize this too as far as colors go. So definitely have fun with that. It's almost like you can't, can't mess up a, a, a birthday hat because they're always just so fun and colorful. So don't be afraid to experiment with the different colors. And then finally, we have this gold element. You may not be using gold, but I am. And for this, we only want to put glue on this solid, solid section here without all these little segments, okay? Because those segments are just kind of, kind of, kind of going to dangle in between the, I think this is AC pool. Okay, so that's gonna look just like that. And that's it for our hats. Okay, so the hat's done. And then of course we have our main balloon with our number. And we have a, a folder that contains all of the numbers that you need, zero through, zero through nine. Okay, and of course, if you wanna make this for like an 11 year old, you would cut out two 11s and maybe, you're probably gonna have to shrink them a little bit. Okay, if you wanna fit two numbers on here. But let's throw our five in there. I'm gonna flip this over so I don't blemish the foil. Push down from the other side when you're dealing with foil if you can. Okay, there it is. All right, so now, oh, by the way, um, I've also cut out these little, uh, this is just some con extra confetti that you can pretty much glue anywhere you want. There's no real rhyme or reason to this. Uh, we've got a bunch of it. Just put a little dot of glue and just kind of fill in the blank areas here. You can put the confetti anywhere you want. I don't know why that stuck to my finger. And we've got like four green ones, three blue ones, a couple purple ones. I would just uh, I would just space it out nice and even wherever you want to put it, just to kind of make it a little bit more fun, okay? This is uh, completely up to you where you want to put it. Don't, uh, there's no wrong there's no wrong way to glue confetti down. Confetti is pretty random, uh, pretty annoying to clean up. What I would maybe do though is if you put uh, if you put one piece of confetti on one side, I would maybe just mirror it in roughly the same area on the other side, just to kind of keep a nice balance. I guess you could say. Okay. And I'm just going to finish that up, and then we can start putting together the actual mechanism. Okay, I found one more little piece of confetti here that I just wanna get in place. Oops, there we go, tiny little piece. Might help to have a little pick-me-up tool when working with these guys, if, if you think it's necessary. If not, that's fine. Okay, so our mechanism is done. We've got the front of the card. We got a little blemish there on that. I don't know if oh, that came off, great. All right, so now it's time to actually put together uh, the actual, uh, we can do the front and the back of the card. So we decided on a gold foil for the inside, the white side, or the outside is white, which is fine. And on the outside, on the front of the card, we have this little area here. Um, you can do, you can bring this in and do a print and cut on it if you want to add the person's name. I think that would look kind of cool. Okay, but that's gonna go on like so. Okay, so just need to get some glue 
on this piece here and get that glued into place. Now I would use the markers. We have some markers now that are visible uh, from the front as well. We're going to use those for the inside, but they also apply to the outside here as well. So you can use these little markers here to help you get this nice and centered on your card or on your card base, I should say. There we go. Perfect. Good. I got that in place. And that looks pretty spot on. Pretty happy with that. Now the back of this, we have a little yellow piece that's going to go on the back. Again, you can use the little score marks, the little markers to help you with the positioning of this. This is where you can write your little sentiment. If you have a stamp, you want to write a little message. Perfect place for it. Plenty of room. Uh, you can also use your machine to do that if you are fancy like that, if you know how to do it. And we'll get that glued into place on the back of our card. There we go. Okay, so front, back. And now on the front, we have this little piece here that's got some weird little squigglies on it. I'll explain what that is here in just a moment. So I made a boo-boo and actually put this on upside down. Luckily, I was able to pop it off without causing any damage to the actual card. Okay, but when you put this down, uh, remember the little markers that we had for the balloons on the inside of the card? Yeah, so there is one of those on here, and you want that to be towards the top of this piece. Okay, and we're gonna pop that right into place, like so. You can see there's one right there, and then there's another little section here, and that's for the hat. Okay, let me take a look at that. Looks good. Okay, so I did have it upside down. Now, uh, going back to these little lines, these lines are to help you kind of draw the, t uh, the little string that's connected to the balloons. And I'm just going to take my time here and go real slow, even if I have to just do one little section at a time. I'm going to do that and just continue down this. It's almost like a little path on a map. Just follow it down very gently with a pencil. And I may just leave it with just the pencil. If you want to darken it in, you can. What I've found with, um, with this cardstock, sometimes if you use uh, a pen, the pens really just, they, they let out so much ink that it bleeds. And then you end up with kind of a, just kind of a, and that's so crisp looking line. And I want to try to maintain a nice crisp looking line. Okay. I probably will end up filling that in anyway, but I just drew that in. Okay. I don't want to pop these on just yet. This is going to go like, like this. Okay. That's going to go right about there. And then our balloon is going to go right here where that little marker is. And I do think I'm going to need to fill that in, but I'll do that. I'll do that later. Okay. So don't be alarmed here. Uh, you will not have two of these. I actually have to put another layer on top of this because I forgot to emboss this piece. Okay. So I added some embossing and I want to give you a little tip here. So uh, there is a version of this file uh, because the little string here for the balloon as well as um, well, yeah, for the, the balloon and the hat, um, there's a little element here that you need to draw in. Okay. Now we've included a solid score line version of this, which made it a lot easier to draw this in. It makes it look um, very clean and precise. So I definitely recommend that you use the solid score line version if your machine is capable of doing so. Um, just set that layer to solid score. And then what I did, I tried, as you can see here, um, this is with a, a felt tip marker, kind of like one of these that you would put in your machine. And because of because of the texture on this cardstock, um, it bleeds really bad. It doesn't look as crisp and clean, at least to me it doesn't. So instead, I just used a ballpoint pen and I ran across or I ran over this maybe two or three times to get it, you know, nice and uh, nice and dark and deep. Um, and it, it was really easy actually. So uh, definitely use a 
Um, use a ballpoint pen, like a black one. I think that's your best bet. I think if you use a marker of some sort, you're gonna get a lot of bleed. It's just gonna look a little erratic. And that's not the look that I'm going for. I want it nice and clean. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this right on top. So as you can see, I make mistakes sometimes. Just forgot to do something. But since that layer underneath it is just a solid piece, I can just put it right on top. And it actually adds a little extra dimension to the, the face of the card. So all good. And I did find this cool uh, little embossing folder that works perfectly for birthday cards. And I think, I wanna say that we got that at Michael's or Joanne's. Okay, so that's in place now. At this point, we're ready to put the actual mechanism in. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and you'll notice that on the inside here, we have a series of markers. I'm gonna glue down just the left side first. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna put glue on just this part here, not the pop-up mechanism, because obviously we want that to be loose so that it moves around and can you know, freely expand and contract. So we're gonna put glue on this section only on the left-hand side. It looks like it's on the right right now because I have it flipped upside down and I'm looking at it at this angle. But this is the left side. Get your glue on there. And we're gonna take this and you see the little markers here. Just line that up with the markers. Now I have to be extra careful because I am using foil here. and pop that into place. The center should match the center of the card. And what I'm gonna do actually, now that I have it like this, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fold it and close it up. And it'll pretty much find the spot it needs to be in automatically. The center crease may kind of move it over to the left a little bit and that's okay. That's what we want. We want this to find its spot. And it just did, it found it. It's great, perfect. So now what we can do is we can move this out of the way and we're gonna put glue on the other half of this now. And we're gonna glue that into place. Make sure you, oh, you're back, aren't you? I'm gonna glue that, put some glue on the rest of this entire surface. Just watch out for the cutouts. There we go, I think that's good. And then you can literally just take this and close it. And it should find the exact spot it needs to be at. And you can fold, flip it over, press down like that. Yep, and it found the exact spot it needed to be in and it opens up perfectly. So I'm gonna actually let this sit and dry since it's going on foil. I don't wanna rush it. Okay, and all that's left to do, well, hopefully I put this on the right way now. I did, luckily. <laughs> um, we have, I already put the foam squares on here. Okay, and you can see that there are little markers for the balloon. And they're gonna go on like that. And then we've got our hat. Uh, we've got a little marker here for this section here. And then there's also two little markers for this section and this section of the hat, just to help us get it nice and accurately lined up. Okay, if you're off a tad, it's not the end of the world. You wanna get it just roughly in the correct position here. Just like that. Okay, so there it is. And that string looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with it. And as you can see, opens up nicely. Beautiful little card. We've got plenty of room on the back for your little message. And of course, it would not be complete without a coordinating envelope. So here is the envelope. Obviously, um, well, for those that follow us, you know that I like to do envelopes and cards with solid score lines as well. It just looks nicer. Okay, what we're gonna do is gonna fold these flaps in and this one's gonna go up. So what we wanna do is apply a little bit of glue right along the inside of this little flap and here as well, like so. And then we'll take this piece and bring it up, press it down and hold it. Give it a few seconds, just like that. 
<clears throat> and then we're using a gold foil for the, well, the two-tone effect here on the actual flap itself. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. We need to apply our glue to this entire flap here and make sure that we get good coverage on it. And if you're using foil, oh, I kinda, I was not holding that down and the glue did not set properly. It's fine though, you can always fix it. Okay, yeah, see there's a little gap there. I'm just gonna fix that now. If that happens to you, just take a scrap piece of paper, throw a little bit of glue right on the very edge. And there's nothing on the bottom here, so you can actually just slide that around, tuck it right under, just kind of press down to pull some of that glue off of this little piece of paper and press that down into place, just like that. Okay, anyway, back to this. So I'm gonna take and start applying glue to this entire surface. And I'm gonna try not to go too heavy with the glue here because I am using gold foil. And if that, that has a tendency to slide around more than cardstock because it doesn't have as much texture. So I'm just gonna be pretty careful here. Try to get some glue in these little nooks and crannies here as well. And I can already tell that that glue is starting to dry. So I gotta go quick. So we're gonna take this and just pop it right up against the fold. Make sure that it's centered. This thing's kind of bowed a little bit. Make sure it's centered. Once you have it centered, just bring it down and press down. Try not to move it around too much if you are using gold foil like I am. Okay, yeah, just press that, continue pressing that down. If you're using gold foil, you're probably gonna need to spend a few extra moments just ensuring that everything sticks. Now I have a little section here that's kind of pulling up. So I'm just gonna use my little, my little painting trick here. Just throw a little bit of glue right on there, tuck it underneath, get some of that glue on there and press it down and just hold that little area in place and let it set. And there we go. And a little excess glue pop out of there, but that's okay. It'll still look great. Okay, so there you have it. And I'll open that up. You can see and that the card fits in there perfectly. Okay, and there it is. Awesome, beautiful card. So colorful and vibrant, perfect. And again, plenty of room on the back to write your little sentiment. So there you have it, wonderful card. Let's open it up. Awesome, love it. Definitely will come in handy. Um, you know, you've got zero through nine, and then obviously if you make the number smaller, you can go beyond that as well. But. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment, visit us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notifications. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group or you can go straight there by typing in this little URL that you see here at the bottom of your screen. So happy birthday to whoever the birthday person is and as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.